One of the most common reasons given by teachers for leaving the profession is having to cope with behaviour problems in the classroom. So how can you keep control? Although the newspapers would have us believe that serious incidents like gross vandalism and violence are commonplace, in practice 90% of disruptive events in classrooms are low-grade but irritating. Noisy chatter, distracting others, movement without permission. Research has shown that the consistent application of classroom rules creates good class management. Because I teach in schools as well as do research in them, I've experienced class management both as a teacher and as someone who has analysed literally thousands of lessons in primary and secondary schools. Research has shown that the following significant factors can prevent behaviour getting out of control. Establish good relationships and do interesting and challenging activities. Use your eyes. Sweep the whole class to pick up problems early. Treat children as individuals. Use their names and talk to them out of lesson time. Have clear classroom rules and enforce them consistently and fairly. Here, Lisa Small, at St Patrick's Catholic Primary School, is role-playing what some teachers do when they get completely engrossed in the children they're working with and ignore all the ones who need their attention. Miss? 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 What did you do, get with me in a minute? So, okay, I'll be there in a minute, Brunel. Lisa could have used a split glance, keeping half an eye on the children she's with and half an eye on the rest of the class. Now we see Lisa actually being herself, skillfully splitting her attention between the children she's working with and those who need help, without neglecting either. See if Deborah can help you. James, are you OK? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, OK, James. Right, let's have a look. This word says... Teachers who establish and then consistently enforce classroom rules are much more in control than those who are haphazard and inconsistent. For example, allowing calling out one minute and then going berserk if someone does it the next. Here we see Anita Sandu at Vickers Green Primary School role-playing what happens when teachers don't engage children. The children followed Edic weaving in and out of the side streets, dodging Nazi patrols. As they reach the end of their estate, Eddick stopped dead. The stars were if the teacher's not animated, why should the children be interested? Mama, groaned. Now we see Anita being herself and really engaging children with good eye contact and skillful use of voice to raise and maintain interest and excitement. Ruth held her hand out to Eddick. They huddled around Bronya and drifted to sleep, dreaming of warm blankets and a kiss goodnight. Research into pupils' opinions over the last 70 years has been amazingly consistent. Children prefer teachers who are slightly strict, who are scrupulously fair, who treat them as individuals and who have a sense of humour, but not one based on sarcasm. Be fair and consistent with children and establish a stable classroom where children know their limits and boundaries. If they don't know the limits, then they have to test them to find out what they are, and that can be painful. <laughs>